Hi guys, Ray here, City Fan TV, and I'm joined by the big man himself, Bernard Janine. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm all right. Got rid of me cold that I've had over the last anyone watching me vlogs over the last few yeah. days and generally been getting better, but most of them were pre-recorded anyway, so it didn't, didn't really matter. But uh, well, yeah, people must be wondering why one day you're, yeah. you're saying terrible, the next day <laughs> one day I've got air. One day I've got air. <laughs> no, no, I recorded no, no. that long ago. I had air. <laughs> Mate. They weren't recorded in prehistoric times. That's the last time you had air. Oh, dear. I've got a cold as well. So I've I've not been on for a couple of weeks, I think. Not done anything. I had plans to do a few videos, but work. And then this this uh, flu, cold, whatever. Man flu. I've stoically battled through. You know, as 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 us men do. As us men do. We, we battle through it. Um, not quibbled, not mourned or whinged or anything. And uh, <laughs> you know, just, we just get on with it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that ten minutes before we went live. Yeah, <laughs> oh, dear me, don't make me laugh because every time I laugh, I cough. My chest is still hurting. Anyway, anyway, guys, we're just uh, deflecting here. We're gonna get into the main thing. We're here to talk about the game against the Ars Arsenal, um, and I wish it was Arsenal uh, on uh, on Sunday, but I'm I'm not sure it's gonna be. Um, you, you very can't stop them scoring, mate. The amount of goals are scoring at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heck? Yeah. Top scorers. Um, well, obviously, it's an important game. They're top of the table, and they've been discounted by so many pundits and fans and said, Oh, it's just between Liverpool and City. That's very disrespectful, don't you think? Yeah, I think we we sort of put them on the back but burn. We didn't say it was in, you know, I think we've said to ourselves. You know, um, I think they had a bad patch, didn't they? Where they yeah, just looked yeah. as though, I mean, it, it was plummeting down the bookies, bookies uh, prices, you know, because they just had that. And now, obviously, that was their bad patch for the season. In theory, we hope they'd have another one, of course. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, uh, that might have been it. Uh, and now it's all guns blazing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's in their hands. Or cannons blazing, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they win every game, they, 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 they win the title. That's it. It's in their own hands. So, yeah. And the way they've been playing... I mean, they've had two things on their side. I think they've had a bit of luck. You need a bit of luck. But they've also been an obliterating team, scoring goals from everywhere. You know, they start that they, in the summer, they're going to go out and buy a new strike, a, a proper striker. But by golly, they, um, they, the goals come from everywhere. Saka scored, Odegaard, Rice has popped up with a few. Trossard gets some goals, Martinelli. Um, and even, even Kai Havertz, the scourge of uh, of, of uh, our Champions League final, um, he, even he's been banging the goals in. So there are, I think at the moment, I think they're a very, very formidable opponent. And if it was me, they'd be my favourites for the title, uh, even above Liverpool, because right now they got the points on the board. It's in their hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, can, I don't think. I mean, it's like, um, of course, we do these percentages, yeah, don't yeah. we? And of course, these up to percentages still show City as the favourites based based on that draw at Liverpool. But yeah, you you are pressed. I mean, even, I'm I'm sure the glass are full. Guys, to sort of say that, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. do it. We'll come good, but uh, we'll we'll know a lot more after Sunday, mate, won't we? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Sunday could be we could be four points off the top and saying bye bye to our four timer. Uh, or we could be top, you know, if, if Brighton do something against Liverpool. Um, so you know, lot, lots, lot. There's still what is it? Ten games to go. Still plenty to play for. You know, everybody's got tough games. You know, before we look at the, the the actual game itself, each team has got what you'd think easy games and what you'd think are some really tough games. I mean, if you look at Arsenal, for instance, I'm just going to rattle off some of the games that they've got. Uh, because they've got a tough period. They've got a game against Luton after they play us. Which you think they'd win. They're playing away to Brighton. Brighton can be tough. But then they've got uh, Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Then Aston Villa at home. Bayern Munich again. Uh, what happens in the first leg against Bayern Munich might affect the team they put out against Villa. Although they've got five days break, so it might not be too bad. Then they got Wolves away. Wolves uh, are pretty decent. Chelsea at home. Chelsea can put a fly in the arm. And their final game of the season, those other North London bottlers in Spurs. So they've not got any... It's not an easy run. Is that their final game, Spurs? Yeah. 
Is away. it really? At home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Final game of the season. Okay. Let's just do a pull, pull that back up. I'm, <laughs> now you made me have, have to have a look again. Final game of the season. Uh, Tottenham against Arsenal. 28th. Oh, sorry, I might have got that wrong. That's the 28th of April. Sorry. Uh, is that the last game of the season or there might be a bit more? Um, yeah, I think it goes to the end of... Yeah, sorry, I think the BBC only go up to the end of April. Sorry, BBC. Oh, bloody BBC. Typical. You could have put you could have put the May, May games. But anyway, there's a, there's a tough run in there. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It doesn't, doesn't sound that bad, does it? But I mean, don't read ours out. <laughs> no, ours. Liverpool, Liverpool have got... Liverpool, I mean, you've got to say, they've got Brighton at home. Uh, I've got, I think, I put Liverpool down for a 4-0 win there. They've got Sheffield United at home. I mean, that could be anything. That could be double digits. They've got Man United away. That should be double digits. Um, they've got Atlanta, probably easy in the Europa League. They've got Palace at home. That could be anything. Atlanta away. Fulham away. Everton away. That could be the hardest game. West Ham away. And that gets you to the end of April. So, mm. I think Liverpool have probably got, the, to me anyway, the easiest running. And we've got, you reckon the hardest? Yeah, I think I think we said this at the start of the season. We we said I think when we looked at the fixtures, we yeah. said City had to be up there or or leading uh, going into the ahead. last part of the season because we just saw that we had the easier games. We didn't have the big matches to come till late on, so we had yeah. to where we dropped points. We shouldn't have really been dropping points, yeah. and everyone wasn't panicking at that time. Oh, we're only a point behind what we were last season. All, but no, that wasn't that wasn't the old problem. The problem was the teams we played. That was the problem. Yeah. I mean, when you, when you look at the next um, month, let's say, we've got Arsenal at home, Villa at home, which is, what, next week? Palace and, away. Yeah. OK, that's not going to be nice, playing Palace away. And then three days, la three days later, we're going to go to Real Madrid. So I think the Real Madrid game is going to affect the team we put out against Palace. Well, the way that we, our injuries are, we, we might have a choice. Then we've got Luton at home, then the Real Madrid game. Uh, at home. Um, then we've got Chelsea at home in the, uh, sorry, uh, uh, in the FA Cup semi-final. Uh, Brighton away, Forest away. I mean, that's a terrible, terrible run. We, you, you're right. You, we said it at the start of the season. We've got to be, hopefully, a few points ahead when we come into this run. Anyway, that's the title uh, talked about. You know, we're still in it and we've got to be glad for that. We're still in our... Um, in the FA Cup, treble, so, treble still there, mate. We've not lost it yeah. yet. We've not relinquished anything yet. It's still on, and uh, hey, until we get beat by Chelsea on Real Madrid, it's still on. Whatever happens against <laughs> Arsenal, but let's look at this Arsenal game. Now we've got a terrible injury list. I was, uh, I knew we had some injuries in defence, but I, I found out another one this morning, and I don't know how you're going to put a team out, Bernard. Um, I found out, obviously, Carl Walker was injured. Now, it's 50-50 whether he's going to be playing. At, you know, the, I heard a few days ago that he'd be all right for the weekend. Then I hear this morning that he might not be. John Stones. I've not looked into uh, what's wrong with Johnny Stones, but I, I'm not sure he's going to be fit for this weekend. And now I hear Manuel Akanji's out. Injury doubt for this weekend. And considering our... Achilles' heel this season has been two, well, two things. Haaland not been able to score uh, from... Um, we'll not mention the, the goalkeeper then. No, we don't need to mention the goalkeeper. We've got <laughs> Stefan Atta in the anyway. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm not worried. Um, Edison might be back, man. Is he going to be back? I'm just saying he's, he's doubtful. He's doubtful, OK. Uh, OK, let's chuck him in the doubtful list. There's four doubts there. We haven't got enough. Uh, obviously, we, Stefan Atta in is, is a shoe in um, to replace Edison if we had to. But I don't think we've got enough players to cover the rest of the spots. And we're going to end up, I suspect, with, uh, if if all three of those are out, with a very dodgy... Who's the left-hand side for Arsenal? Who's their left-hand side guy? Martinelli? Would he do it? But I mean, he was the guy that sprung to my mind, uh, you know, the, the bloke. But... Uh, of course, the right side guy. Hopefully, we've got the guy to keep him, him under control. Vardy all. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's who it's going to be. I mean, let's let's look at that defense. If those three guys are out, okay, we could have a defense with uh, Stefan Ortega Moreno in goal, Gvardiol at left back, 
It's not too bad. Diaz and Aki at centre-backs. I'm actually quite happy about that. And Rico Lewis at right-back. What do you think? A very Yeah, a, a defensive Rico Lewis. So I don't want him strolling up the pitch and trying to be his midfield uh, man. But yeah. yeah, it's not ideal. I think Rico Lewis is probably the, possibly the weak link. And I would, like you, no doubt, switch, switch Gavardiol and Aki, uh, you know, uh, any time. But it's not going to happen. Pep's not going to do that. Um, oh, I, I, I can do even better. Gomez at left back and Aki at centre back. I like that? Gomez. I think go. I mean, Gomez doesn't give you. He does. He has let us down in the past. Let's not. Let's not. Yeah, but he doesn't play enough to to get takes over it. But he, he, <laughs> he, he's, he's he's not given enough responsibility or time, yeah. has he? Really to to come but and do I, what he can or can't do. I'll give you an example. Okay, Cole Palmer. He didn't play much. Okay, and he, he when he played, he looked good. But he also let us down by giving the ball away more than uh, we would have liked. He goes away. He plays regularly. He's doing all right now, I think. So who's to say Gomez, if he wasn't play, uh, if he was playing regularly, would 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 be a decent player? Who'd say he wouldn't be? I assume he's on international duty, was he? Um, yes. I, I I wasn't checking me. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, um, but if he's playing for Spain, maybe he's not in their first team. Um, I, I, I doubt it. Maybe in their first team because he was in the under twenties last time, weren't you? Under twenty ones or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Under twenty threes. So it's going to be a very dodgy defence, I think. And for that reason, we might as well go through the team. For that reason, if we've got those four, would you play Kovacic alongside Rodri? Even though yeah, without Stones, I mean, without Stones, I think Kovacic definitely has to come into the rating. I mean, he's not in my eleven because obviously I didn't, I did, I did it far too early to all these problems. Well, but this is now a new eleven. Yes, I would put Kovacic, Kovacic alongside and, Rodri. and Rodri. So we've only got four players left. I suppose you're going to pick Haaland up front. You have to, mate. You have to pick Haaland. This is going to be really tough. You're going to have three players behind Haaland. Who are they going to be? This is this is what a really tough one because I think. Well, you got to pick KDB. That's not a tough one, surely. People are saying drop KDB. <sighs> not against Arsenal. He, he's a, there's something about him in Arsenal, and Arsenal will know that. There'll be yeah, something yeah, on yeah. their minds as well. I, I agree. I agree. You need him for, you know, a because he's creative. B, he's got that. No, he's built up and overbuilt up. How, yeah. how you know he, he's there? He's got him on a chain. Arsenal instead of him, well, you're it, right. it works. It works mentally as well. Okay. So you got KDB, fair enough. Two more. So two more. <laughs> you got to have Foden, surely. Surely. And? Well, what will Pep do? Will Pep go to one of his reg back to one of his regs? Well, will we will we have a go? I mean, Doku had a good game the other night, didn't yeah. he, against against England? Uh, I'd be tendency to, you know, unless if we don't put Doku in it, where are we going to put him under pressure? That's a problem. It's going to be one way traffic. Yeah, that, that that is that is the the risk is by having the two DMs or the support for Rodri. I mean, that might allow Rodri to go a bit further forward. But who's gonna who's gonna create the dangerous situations? You know, are you gonna rely on Bernardo and Foden? I'm not so sure. I'm not so yeah. sure that. Um, so we're relying. Bit, I think the main you man is we're missing out Bernardo there, aren't we? But uh, but I'm saying I mean, you, well, I'm saying if we don't, don't put Doku in for the time being. Yeah, but if we don't have Doku, who's gonna like, like you say, who's gonna be the danger and who's gonna create? We're relying on KDB for the creativity for Haaland, and that's about it. If they can stop that supply line, it's Bernardo gonna create for Haaland. It's Foden. I think Foden is a better creator for Haaland than Bernardo, but they'll be double teaming him. He won't be there on his own. So well, not after we know that a good team. We're not playing Sheffield United. We're yeah. playing Arsenal. So, for that reason, you think, well, we'd have Doku, but then Doku doesn't give you control. He gives you danger, but no control. And it also depends what do you want from this game. Do you want to not lose, or do you think take it as a must win? And not lose gives Liverpool that chance to get three points ahead of us uh, if we end up drawing. But, I'll ask, uh, up front, do, do you go into this game as Pep saying, I don't want to lose, or I must win? And on that basis, you make your decisions. If it's if it's I don't want to lose, it's a mustn't lose game. A draw, I'll take. Then you play Ford and Bernardo, KDB and Haaland. 
You see, the thing with Bernardo is that he can. I want him. I want him in and around that box. That's where I want him. I don't want him. Pit, you know, because right. you got Kovacic and Rodri. I don't want him. You know, sort of defending, and I just want him causing problems. I think that's where it is best. And if Doku can cause problems, I think Bernardo in the right position can cause problems as well. Yeah. He's never given that free reign to do so usually. I think it, you know, and he, and he can hold on. To, all right, he loses it occasionally, yeah, yeah. but he's not going to lose it as much as Doku would if he played. So I mean, I would tendency to give Bernardo, but give him a more important front role, you know, front yeah. role around creative, creative well, role, and a well, goal scoring role as well. We know he he has a pop. Yeah. He's not frightened to have a pop, Bernardo, well, and that's what we know. Arsenal won that game at think at their place with a with a deflection. Bernardo's not frightened of having a pop, yeah. and if we get a deflection and we get a goal, that's fine. I'm going to give you my team, and I'm going to take some flack for this. I, I know I am. So I'm going to go, assuming that our defenders are out. So, um, I'll take Maroonu in goal, assuming Edison's out. Left back, Gavardiol. Aki with Diaz. Rico Lewis. I can't see any any other option. I can't see us going three at the back. Kovacic and Rodri. Doku. KDB. Bernardo Silva. Phil Foden. That's 12, isn't it? Nope. Thought I was 12 then. Nope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think you give us 12. I think we'll start with 12. No, 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 no. Okay, you got your out. Got out. Go on. Four in defence. Okay, you get the four defenders. That's five. Rodri Kovacic, seven. Oh, then four, yeah. Goku. Goku. KDB. Who have you missed out there? Haaland. Haaland. I would play with a false nine. I play with a false nine because one Arsenal expecting Haaland, they would have set up plan mm. for Haaland. That's the Good first point. thing. Second, has he, got, has he got the balls to drop Haaland? Uh, no, no, he hasn't. I have. Okay, no, I have. <laughs> if I, was, if I, was, if I, was, I wouldn't drop him either. Okay, I wouldn't drop him. Either. But you play Phil Foden as a false nine. That will give Bernardo the space, I think. I like it. I, I must admit, I like it. I'm, I'm too Haaland-ish to even think yeah, of that, to be honest with you. I quite would like give, that. That would give Bernardo the space, I think, Foden's movement, into playing, switching around with Bernardo. That would create havoc. Arsenal are not expecting this. But the last time we controlled the game against Arsenal, we didn't have Haaland. So yeah. that, that you're probably talking right there. Yeah. So, as I said, Arsenal expecting Haaland. This is going to absolutely throw them. And I, and I think Foden's movement will be different to Haaland's. Okay? Did he play Haaland, when we stuffed him last year? Haaland played, didn't he? Or did he not play that remember. game? I can't remember. KDB scored, didn't he? I think, was it... Oh, that three... Was it 3-1 at our place? 4-1, oh, wasn't it? Is it as much as that? Uh, I can't remember these games, mate. They were coming thick and fast. Um, I will, I will have a look. Um, were different. It was a different thing. They had a different vibe to it then, didn't they, that game? We, we, we had... Total oh, yeah. confidence with stuff them. Uh, not so much this time, unfortunately. Because KDB, KDB was your man. So KDB scored after seven minutes, and that just set the game up. Uh, Stones, he scored in injury time in the first half. Uh, and then uh, KDB got second. We were 3-0 up. Holden scored a consolation. And then Haaland scored. Haaland scored after 90 minutes uh, or injury time. So I think yeah, Haaland must have started. But I just think that's that will, as I said, Throw them. Diff it's different. And I think you've got this... Okay, you're not going to get as much... You, you will get fluidity across the front line with Doku. Won't be just on the left. And I think that will... You know, If they're planning for potentially Doku on the left, on our left, Haaland in the middle, Bernardo on the right, and we've... First of all, we've got Foden in there, and then they're, they're all moving around. I think uh, that will throw them. And it might take them 20, 30 minutes to cope with that, to, to plan for that. Um, and then it's up to us to score. But obviously, they'll know an hour before kickoff that if Haaland's not playing, it's not, we're just going to walk onto the pitch and then they're going to see. <laughs> but it will throw them. It will throw them a little bit. And then it's up to us. And then, yep, bring Haaland on after 60 minutes. Because that you bring him on after 60 minutes, that guy. Will be gunning for goals. He'll be hungry. He'll be mad. He'll be mad uh, because he's not starting. Be like, be like bringing a goalkeeper on a striker, wasn't it? Late in the game, that 
because he'd be so keen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't don't tell me about David James. <laughs> but I just think... you, know, you know what worries me before. Obviously, I know we're bringing this to an end now, but I think with Arsenal's press, I, I, I'm scared to death with Ortega. Scared. To no, death. I'm not. I'm not. The problem is. Just his releasing of the pressure, just the fact yeah. he can't put those long balls at. And we beat Arsenal by playing long balls out from the keeper lots of times because we can't cope with the press. Yeah, I think there's two things. I mean, even with uh, Liverpool showed us under the press, with even with Edison, that we can struggle. Yeah. So it's not. Yeah, but that's what we're trying to play out a little bit rather than. I think at one stage against yeah, Arsenal, Pep just told uh, Edison just to keep going long to Ireland, yeah. uh, if you remember last season. Because he's what he was doing. He was just. Get, get it out. But if that was Ivan Tony up there, I'd say yes, that, that's yeah. a good tactic. Yeah, we, we need to I, hold on to it, as you say. Alan, Alan can yeah. hold on yeah. to that ball. So, but I don't well, mind. There. Bernardo can hold on to it. Foden can <laughs> hold on to it. But I, don't, I don't think five foot six Bernardo is going to well, be. You know, as long as he pings it, ping, if Edison can ping it properly. I mean, I'll see you will ping it across the floor, so that won't be a yeah. problem. <laughs> but no, but I, I don't mind the long ball. I don't mind the long ball against us because, once again, they're not expecting it. And it's not putting pressure on our defence so we're going to lose it. But I just think we've got to be different. We've got to think outside the box. If we're messed up in defence, it's defence that we worry about because if we don't concede, we don't lose. But we will concede. That's the problem all season. Uh, so there you go, guys. That's a very, very different lineup for me. Bernard's... Bernard's yeah, I'm going to agree with it, mate. I'm, 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 Still think we'll probably see the big lummox up. Oh, front. yeah, we will. We will. I so think that's us... a good, you've made a good uh, good case. Yeah. So well, let's make a case for a score prediction, mate. Well, I'll stick with what I've did on my vlog, which I probably can't, don't believe much now. But uh, I'm going two one for City. Oof. And I, I did. I'm in a prediction league, and I said two one to City. But I'm going to change that. I'm going to go three one to City. Three one. KDB get a couple of goals. Um, and who else? Who else can score? <sighs> Phil Foden would be nice. Um, keep his spirits up after two. Uh, well, he was a bit below par for England, weren't he? Um, and it's it's right. I, I saw the first game. I didn't see much of the set. I was working for the second one, so I watched the highlights. He looked very good on highlights. But yeah, 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 yeah. He always does. Even Bellingham looked good when he scored his goal. Yeah. You know, but it was crap before then. But but the thing is, I mean, see, I I. I I listen a lot on the radio because I'm, I'm driving around so much with work and everything. Um, and they're all bigging up Saka. They're bigging up Rice. They're bigging up Bellingham and Kane. Kane, I accept. You've got to big him up. And the people are talking about dropping Foden to fit in Rashford. You know, so or you can have Madison. You can have Rice. You're going to have Trent in midfield. Um and then you're going to have Saka, Rashford, and okay, hang on, you daft. I even heard someone yesterday, and I'll finish off on this, saying they wouldn't take Cole Palmer in the squad. I mean, there's an odd thing happened that Cole Palmer didn't play the last two games. But I can't believe for the way he's played this season that you can't take him in the squad. Same way, I can't believe you can't take Ollie Watkins in the squad, even though you might see you only want two attackers and one of them's Tony. What more does Watkins have to do? He scored 16 league goals, I think, this season, 10 assists. What more does he have to do, you know, to be in that squad? He's in that squad for me above Rashford. Anyway, I'd put Watkins on the left. Anyway, that's from the story. But I would just want Foden to get his confidence back, you know, if he's, if he's been dented a bit. Uh, but it's going to be a tough game. You're going to be there, buddy. You're going to be there. I, I'm trying to, where am I? It's Sunday. Uh, I'll be down south somewhere. What time's the game? 4.30. 4.30. Am I even going to be able to watch it? I might have to throw a sickie. Sunday. Oh, I'm in, I'm in Wales. Four, oh, sorry, I'm, guys, I'm going to have to check just to see whether I'm going to be able to watch this game. Um, I hope so. That can be really bad. It's bad enough not being able to... Uh, hopefully it's a two... Yeah, I've got a two o'clock... Uh, theatre show, which we'll finish at three. I'll pack up by about four and uh, 
we'll see if I can. I'll probably end up listening on the radio because I don't want to stay in South Wales any longer than I have to. Now, this is not <laughs> a slight on South Wales. South Wales, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, don't you know? Don't need to lock up your daughters it's and all that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the next day I'm in Painton, so which is uh, a long, long way from where I am in South Wales. Um, which is probably going to be about three hours. So I need to get cracking. One of the most horrible experiences, and I had it when I was self-employed and sometimes couldn't get to games yeah. when I was, the kids were little and stuff like that. When I had yeah. to work 24-7, listening to games on the radio, I, yeah. I can't do it. It's it hard. just kills me. Absolutely it's, kills me. It, it, it's hard, especially when you can't see it. The commentators are still obviously... I literally just used to turn it off and just switch on at full time. But I had people coming in and telling me what was going on. So that was even worse. But the problem I have is the commentators are very anti-City. Usually. And at least if you're watching it, you can turn the volume down and see what's going on. On radio, you don't have that option. And uh, But I may, may find a, a foreign channel to watch it on the telly. Especially the Arabic ones because they're, they're quite alright. I told you, they don't say John Stones; it's Johnny Stones. So I quite like that. Johnny Stones, you know. Well, I don't. That's all. Say that this week, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Bernard's going two one. I'm going three one. City, come on, lads. Let's come on, go. come on, City. Let's keep this blue train chugging along. Put it on the rack. Put it on the rack. Put it on the rail, not the rack. <laughs> but Arsenal on the rack. Arsenal on the rack. We'll see you around, Blues. Take care. Good luck, Sunday boys.